We all enjoy video games, right? From multiplayer games such as Valorant and League of Legends to single player games such as God of War, the abundance of different genres, topics and themes makes it impossible not to find a game to your liking. If you enjoy difficult games where you will have to develop your own set of skills to even stand a chance at being successful, then you will most likely enjoy games such as Dark Souls and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. However, if you enjoy easier games where winning does not cost you sweat, blood and hours of your life, then you will most likely enjoy games such as Spider-Man for the PS4 and any of the Batman Arkham games. But perhaps you would rather play something that is even easier. Perhaps you want a completely casual experience that will allow you to relax while playing video games. In this instance, you would most likely enjoy Outlast and the... This is a joke. Outlast is not a relaxing experience, it's a horror game. Please don't play it if you want to relax. Anyway... In this instance, you would most likely enjoy Stardew Valley, Papers, Please and Firewatch. Casual games, after all, have always been successful. Gamers have always enjoyed getting together with friends and answering questions in Jackbox or smacking each other silly in Gang Beasts. But these games have only really been played by active, devout gamers. Casual gamers, or those that have not touched video games before, did not know of these games or think to find a casual game to play with friends. Enter Fall Guys and Among Us, two games whose popularity have surpassed the remits of the video game industry and have entered the mainstream world. These two games appear to have been played by everyone, from the most devout and active gamers to those that have not played a single video game before. The reach and popularity of these two games appear to have legitimized gaming in the eyes of the public, being covered by news outlets worldwide. The Wall Street Journal, for example, has said that, with little else to do, Americans are spending record amounts of money on video games. New players are taking up the habit and even parents are embracing the pastime as a way for kids to socialize online. The way we entertain ourselves may never be the same. Which brings us to the point of this video. Having seen the impact that Fall Guys and Among Us have had on the video game landscape, we are going to be looking at how these two games have changed video games forever. In particular, we're going to be looking at what caused their meteoric rise in popularity, as well as what it is about these games that virtually guaranteed their widespread success. This is how Fall Guys and Among Us changed video games forever. First, we will be looking at how these two games managed to amass such fame in such a short span of time. Before we look into each individual game, we must first establish the one element that binds their fame together. The state of the world. The year is 2020, and with virtually the entire world going into lockdown, many of the activities that people would engage in were rendered impossible. No longer could people go to the movies or play sports in the park or have a drink together. All of the group activities that required people to be in the same location were temporarily banned, leaving a social void in most people. While some people turned to tabletop games such as Dungeons and & Dragons and others turned to multiplayer video games such as Rainbow Six Siege, there was a large group of people that did not know what to turn to. It is this large portion of people that turned to Fall Guys and Among Us. But how did they come to know of these games? How did these games become so popular that they escaped the confines of the video game industry, ultimately achieving mainstream fame? Let's find out. When it comes to the popularity of Fall Guys, there are two main elements that we can't ignore. The first is scarcity. While the game was still in its beta phase, meaning it couldn't be freely bought and played unless you had a key to the game, the Fall Guys team acted in a very ingenious way. They would provide streamers with keys that they could give to their audience while also using their own Twitter account to give away keys. However, in order to be eligible to get a key, you would have to follow their Twitter account, retweet the tweet in question, and do one miscellaneous activity, such as tagging a friend that should check out the game, replying with a gif that made you think of Fall Guys, telling them who you wanted to see stream the game, and telling the team how you heard about the game in the first place. 
This was ingenious because it created a community around the game that consistently promoted it and engaged with its content, long before Fall Guys was even fully released. The second element is the lack of scarcity. After Fall Guys was released, PlayStation Plus members received the game for free during the month of August. From August 4th all the way until August 31st, PlayStation Plus members could download Fall Guys and enjoy it forever. This certainly increased the interest and knowledge of the game, as Fall Guys was no longer a PC exclusive nor did it have a price point when it was introduced on the console market. By rationing who got to experience the game, the team behind Fall Guys created a lot of excitement, its process behind key giveaways creating a community that actively engaged with the game. Once the game was fully released, the team behind the game did the opposite and used the media momentum they had in order to get the game into the hands of as many players as possible. This is how Fall Guys became famous. However, when it comes to the fame of Among Us, the situation is much different. You see, Among Us was released in 2018 and has only managed to grow in popularity two years later. The main reason for this sudden and exponential growth in popularity is none other than Twitch streamers. Using statistics from Twitch Tracker, we can see how many people have been watching streams of Among Us, starting from January of this year all the way until September. In January, there were 78 viewers on average. In September, there were 204,000 viewers watching the very same game. Streamers themselves had gone from an average of 2 streams of the game in January to an average of 3.5 thousand concurrent streams. In September alone, there were 147 million hours worth of Among Us being watched. If you are doubtful of the impact this had on the game being played, let's take a look at SteamDB, showing the amount of people actually playing Among Us. In January of this year, there were 213 players on average. In September, there were 273,512 players on average. If we were to compare the two charts, we could see a similar upwards trend, where the more people streamed and watched Among Us on Twitch, the more people bought and played the game on Steam. Certainly, it was much easier for people to buy and play Among Us than Fall Guys, given its low price point of £4 as opposed to Fall Guys £16. Supplementing those Steam player numbers is the fact that Among Us is free on mobile, opening it up to casual players who would rather just enjoy a mobile game with their friends than play more intense or demanding video games. They can play from anywhere, at any time, with anyone, even if their friends are playing via their PC as Among Us is a cross-platform game. Ultimately, the popularity of Among Us can be boiled down to the attention it got from Twitch, its low price point and its free mobile crossplay feature. A similarity can certainly be drawn between the two games, with Among Us having a free mobile version while Fall Guys was freely offered to PlayStation Plus members. This has certainly impacted the popularity of the games in a positive way, making them more accessible to the average consumer. Now that we have looked at what has caused the games to become so popular, we need to answer one last question. What is it about these games that enable them to gain their fame? What game aspects are so captivating and fun that even the average person was entranced to experience them? Let's take a look at game aspects. When looking at game aspects, we're going to be looking at the similarities between Fall Guys and Among Us and see whether we can spot the core reasons why these two games managed to become as popular as they did. If we were asked to describe Fall Guys to the one person in the world that hadn't heard about the game, we would describe it as a multiplayer game with bright colors and simple mechanics, where a bunch of beans compete in a Candyland version of Takeshi's Castle until one bean wins the coveted crown. Once we take all of the fluff away from that description, we can see that Fall Guys is a competitive multiplayer game with bright colors and simple mechanics. The game is visually and mechanically appealing, as the game's controls and level design don't require any explanation, making the game universally playable across all ages and countries. As Louise Shorthouse, a game industry analyst, told CNBC, Fall Guys is, at its core, a simple, family-friendly game that appeals to all ages and is approved by parents. 
However, let's take a look at the slightly more violent hit game of the year and see whether we can spot any similarities between the two games. Going back to the one person that hadn't heard of video games before, let's try and describe Among Us to him. Among Us is a multiplayer game with simple mechanics, where at least one out of the 10 players is tasked with killing and deceiving the others, stopping them from completing the tasks that would lead them to success. If we once more take a red pen out of fluff, we will see that Among Us is a competitive multiplayer game with simple mechanics which focuses on socializing and interacting with other players. While the game relies on communication, its controls are also very simple and straightforward. Players require no explanation to understand the tasks that they have to accomplish or to understand what they can do as an imposter. This makes the game universally playable across all ages and countries. I'm sure that you can already notice the obvious similarities between the two games. Both games are competitive multiplayer games, pitting either one player or one group of players against another. Both games have simple mechanics with simple controls and goals, which makes them universally playable, and both games have a focus on socialization, either through the competitive nature of the game or by relying on the players communicating with each other. But why is it that those simple, multiplayer games with a focus on socialization have become more famous and played than other expected hits of the year, like The Last of Us Part 2? It all comes back to the social void that we talked about before. In a world currently filled with uncertainty and panic, where people cannot socialize with one another as they previously would, it is not surprising to see that the games which have filled that void are bright, simple and, most importantly, have an intensely social component. It is this inherently social aspect of these two games that have led to their inevitable fame in our current climate. So, there you have it. By combining simple, universally playable, social-focused games with community engagement and the popularity brought on by streaming, Among Us and Fall Guys have become two of the largest games of the year. In retrospect, it makes perfect sense that colorful, easy-to-play, social games would be the ones that would mark 2020, given our current inability to socialize like we used to. While I don't doubt that Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be the game of the year if it actually releases this year, it is undeniable that Fall Guys and Among Us have permanently marked this year in gaming, changing the video game industry forever. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you think that the video game landscape has changed given the impact of Fall Guys and Among Us, or do you think the perception of video games in mainstream culture remains the same? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you for watching, keep writing! Hey, you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment and subscribe, it helps the channel more than you know. If you are interested in supporting the channel in any other way, we also have a Patreon. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you can support the content we create and even be included in our videos. It's pretty cool, so give it a look.